Hi YouTube, this is uh, Pen Withers. Um, thought now I've done that expansion, I would get the next layer started. So this will be the third bit of the expansion. And this is joining back in these two upper la uh, levels. Obviously the level there where the tornado is will come through through that big hole that we had in the wall and then obviously come back through and uh, join back in to this section here so we've got the ramp section which joins the lower level with the upper level and obviously that will come back through so and it will make quite a nice scenic break so obviously you won't be able to see that line coming back through so this section through here we're going to have a tunnel mouth here going back into there and then over there where the uh, class 66 is coming up that will come up through into a tunnel so I say we've got these boards uh, roughly cut out to where they're going to be giving the wall a coat of paint behind so uh, hopefully I can do something like I've done around there but I thought I should concentrate on this because when you come in the door this is really the first bit you see so I thought it would be nice to get uh, I'm actually going to go on and do the scenic so the idea is I'll just lay track on that upper level through into this side as you can see where it's uh, the upper levels coming through make a bit of a tunnel underneath I'll lay uh, another board probably over this area back to here that I can just get the track through and then I can actually complete uh, this section so that's the next plan so I'll probably show you a few clips of this over the next week or so as I'm making a bit of progress I'll see you shortly right I've got a bit of ballast down on the that section in there coming in underneath and uh, I've also done, I put another piece here in the corner, a bit of board, and we'll have a tunnel mouth there. So I've just ballasted in through that. And I've just continued the board through to this side. Um, and what I've done in here, I've biscuit jointed these bits together. I don't know if you can just see uh, the biscuit joints in there. And it's just uh, supporting those. Uh, lines because uh, obviously I'm going to struggle to get in there to fix that section and um, obviously I've biscuit jointed this out through and I thought well, I'd just well get the boards through on this bit in here so I've got the supports in just in the midst of cutting the boards I have got a lot of room over here along that edge so I'm going to put a angle Got a bit of aluminium angle and just going to screw to that wall and then I'll get that next board on I hope I just will get done in here and at least I can lay the track through get me into this room and uh, like I say we can get those bits continued through get joined up and then I can get on with the scenery out there and we'll see you in a while well here we are we got the uh, tracks joined up now done these couple of bits got some nice sweeping bends going into my workshop so that's all fixed and uh, ready to give a test so we'll have a quick look in the workshop all right here's the uh, view in the workshop looking out through so like I say we've got these tracks laid in through coming quite nicely Obviously we've got two out and two back and the idea is I put the wider board on here so that I can have a long side in one each side probably so we'll lay it out see what it looks like and I've got the rest of the uh, bench work around here and there we are going out through into the other side and uh, we just go around the corner and I've been a bit quiet today so uh, we've got the uh, final level around here so obviously it'll come through 
around that uh, back section around here and then back through so basically now we're ready for uh, laying track um, probably tunnel mouth somewhere around here and down there for that level hill up over this and then this top level obviously I'm gonna have the two levels probably have a tunnel here as well um, and then this will be open through tunnel there tunnel down there and obviously a bit of hill come up over that to disguise that tunnel mouth there and then possibly what I'll do is make up a board with some scenery on top to like drop to cover up that area there so when you're back back through here look at in should end up like a big hill so that's the plan I think I'll probably get the track laid now and then hopefully we'll have a couple of trains running around Well, here we are, we've had another quiet day, so I decided to have a go on the uh, laying the rest of this track. So we've got all the track around, sorry it was a bit dark in here. Um, so we've got our four lines through and we've got a couple of sidings, so it's worked quite well. I kept the sidings on the inner side so that I don't knock them. And then uh, obviously... Uh, Going out into the other section, some quite nice sweeping bends there. We'll uh, just uh, come around the other side in a minute and uh, take another look. So, and obviously, this is this side now. So, track work coming through and around, and here we're going to have like a split level. For running so that is really all the track work done now I got uh, a couple of sidings to do um, but that will be at a later date so I'll uh, get a couple of trains running around and we'll do a proper running session perhaps next week